Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we are chilling by the bookshelves. We just have a casual, fun TBR video. So it's another month, which means it's time for another to be read list. I've been pretty consistently doing the TBR jar, but this month I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I wanted to get you guys involved. So this week we are doing Instagram chooses my April reads. I decided to grab books that were a little bit similar but different and then post over on my Instagram story. You can follow me. My at is at Haley Sherbel. I post cute pics sometimes. I mean, hey, go follow me. But I posted on my story asking for you guys to vote on the polls. And so ultimately, the choice is going to be up to you of what I read in April. The first two potential books on the TBR are both women's fiction, both have a little bit of romance, but mostly just center on women's lives. First is A Novel Obsession by Caitlin Barish. This is about a woman who becomes obsessed with her boyfriend's ex. Giving very much obsessed by Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, I've had this on my shelf for a while. It looks so interesting. And then we have After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is her woman's fiction about Lauren and Ryan, who are a married couple. And they're kind of having some issues in their marriage. They are struggling. So they decide that they're going to take a year apart. And this follows them. So both of the women's fiction. So I posted the poll on my Instagram. Now let us go check and see which one you guys voted. Okay, it looks like after I do one, getting 61% and A Novel Obsession only got 39%. Okay, that is gonna be the first book on our April TBR after I do. Now I'm gonna quickly make a note of all the books on my April TBR so I can keep them all in check. And do you know my favorite way to take notes? It's through Scrintle and they are kindly sponsoring today's video. Scrintle is a brainstorming slash note-taking app. It combines mind mapping with note-taking to help me and its users visualize their notes better, which as someone that loves to have a bunch of different notes with a bunch of different topics, being able to visualize them all in one place is so helpful. I use Scrintle to brainstorm video ideas, map out uploads for the week, and I even made a board for my April TBR, a little checklist, which I will unveil to you at the end of the video. But if you're not sure what kind of notes to take, you can also download templates from other amazing users. Whether you're a creative, a student, a writer, you can find an amazing way to use Scrintle, I guarantee it. So upgrade your note-taking with Scrintle today. Click the link in the description box below and download it. You can use my code HaleyJean and it will get you 10% off. I highly, highly recommend. I've never found a platform that makes it so easy to just stay organized. So check them out in the description box and I wanna thank them again for sponsoring today's video. I will show you my final April TBR Scrintle board at the end, so stay tuned. Now, let's pick this TBR, shall we? Okay, let's select the second book on the April TBR. I wanted you guys to choose which romance series I should continue this month. These are actually like the last books. I mean, I think there's technically like a big epilogue novel at the end of this one, but I don't know if I'm gonna read that yet. So as of right now, these are both the last books that I need to read in some romance series. First, we have Long Way Down by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is like the eighth book or something in the Addicted Calloway Sisters series. It follows Reich and Daisy. I love them. I can't tell you anything about the plot, obviously, because it's so far in the series, but the other book is A False Start by Elsie Silver. This is a standalone in her Gold Rush Ranch series. It's the fourth book and it follows, this follows Nadia and Griffin and it is a small town best friend's sister romance. So very excited, wanna read either one of these. Honestly, can't go wrong, but let's see which one you guys picked. I have a feeling you're gonna pick Miss Elsie because I feel like you guys know how much I love Elsie Silver. Oh. And I was correct, a false start, one out with 62%. Hey, I'm, I'm not mad about it. It will feel really, really good to finally finish that series. And then I will be all caught up and ready to read Wild Love, which 
does come out at the end of March. It, I haven't got my copy yet at the time of filming this, but I pre-ordered a signed copy, so it is on the way, and I will likely read it. Maybe I'll read it in April or May. I don't know, but either way, don't worry, that is on my radar. Ooh, hello. Don't worry, Wild Love is on my radar, but I wanna finish the Gold Rush Ranch first. Next, I had you guys decide between two Sophie Lark books. I have so many Sophie Lark books on my TBR that I really want to get through, so I just grabbed two of them. First is There Are No Saints. This is the first book in the Sinners duet, which is a dark serial killer romance duet. And then we have Love Contract, which is her newest release. I think this just came out like a month or so ago, and it is a fake dating billionaire romance, I think. Um, all I know is that, that it's fake dating, but either way, sounds good. Sophie Lark's books are just so easy to go through. They're fast paced, the writing is just breezy, and they're always a fun time. So I am excited either way. Let's check what you guys picked. Oh, this one is really, really close actually. Okay, There Are No Saints, one out by just 4%. It was 48 to 52, so that's crazy but I have had this one on my TBR for longer, so not mad about it. Next, I had you decide between two different YA books. Both of these sound so fun, so interesting, and they're very, very popular. I feel like these are two booktube, book talk classics. So it's about time that I get to one of them. So we have The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Again, this is like a YA mystery thriller and it has a love triangle between two brothers i do know that and then we have better than the movies by lynn painter this is a fake dating high school romance and honestly i'm not gonna lie i would be happy to read either one but i hope that better than the movies wins because i'm just really in the mood for like a good ya high school romance me and my boyfriend met in high school so i feel like it's gonna like bring back the feels i don't know but let me not get ahead of myself. Let's see which one you voted. <laughs> okay, if I thought the last one was close, this one was even closer. Better Than The Movies did win. Thank you. You guys have my back. You guys just knew what I was in the mood for. Thank you so much. It won by 51%. Only a 2% difference. I'm honestly happy with your decision, so thank you. I don't want to make my TBR too long because one, I still have to figure out what book I'm reading for my book club. I do an ASMR book club through my Patreon. If you wanna join, it's in the description. We still don't know what we're reading. I think it's gonna be The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Like that's probably the contender right now, but it's up in, up in arms. We're still voting and deciding on our poll. So I know there's gonna be another book added on the list. And then also in April, there's gonna be like a good week and a half where my friend Mana is gonna be in town and I'm gonna be very busy. So I don't wanna put like 10 books on my TBR for April. It's gonna be a very busy month. So we're just gonna go with five. And so the last book that I'm gonna have you guys pick, I, we had to throw in a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of paranormal. So we got like a fantasy paranormal romance showdown. Dragons versus demons which one will prevail. First is Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. This is the first book in a, I believe, adult indie fantasy romance series, and I know that there's dragons, and that's literally all I know, but I wanna go in blind, so sorry that I don't have much else. But the other book is Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue. This is the first book in a trilogy about demons that come to earth and fall in love with some human girls, and that, I mean, I would be interested in maybe kissing a hot demon. Is that so wrong? I feel like you'll probably pick Harley LaRue. Oh my god, sorry, I just opened up Instagram and someone posted that. I feel like you guys will probably pick Her Soul to Take just because Harley LaRue is a more well-known author. But who knows? Let us see. Ooh, another, another close one, but actually I was wrong. Fear the Flames ended up winning out with 53% of the vote. Okay, work. I honestly have seen no one talk about this book, 
besides Raven Haired Reader. That's who I got the recommendation from, like one of her videos she mentioned it, and then I just ordered it. But since then, I've seen no reviews, I've seen no thoughts, nothing. So I honestly like have no idea what to expect going into this, but I'm very excited, so. Thank you for putting it on my TBR. So yes, these are the five physical books that are on my April TBR. And then again, I will add my book club pick whenever that is decided on. But yes, I've been loving doing these TBR videos. I really thought that like setting a set TBR for myself would hinder me. My like six Aquarius placements, we love just doing what we want. We don't like being told what to do. We don't like structure. I've always said like I'm a big mood reader. So I just really thought that TBRs would not be for me. But since I've been doing them the past few months, I've actually been sticking to them pretty well. And it really does motivate me to read. So I'm excited. And yeah, that is my TBR. And here is my lovely little scrintle TBR note board which is just so cute i just love being able to take notes aesthetically and messily visually with different types of media it's just it's the best so again make sure to check out scrintle down below thanks again to them for sponsoring this video and yeah i'm gonna go get some reading done let me know what books are on your april tbr in the comments below and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye guys